Hi there and welcome to my channel. So in today's video we're going to try a test here down in my indoor growing space. I have, um, haven't been having very good luck with my grow tent that I have just started using this year and um, I wanted to just see if I can try testing out a couple more plants um, using the grow tent and using this system here last year for my crocky growing has worked out really well for me. I was able to grow tomatoes and lots of lettuces, herbs. Uh, this year I'm trying to do cucumbers, which um, I started out in the grow tent the first go around and they didn't survive in there. So I'm starting again. So I have a new batch of tomatoes going. I have a new batch of cucumbers started. So we're gonna try putting one into the grow tent and leave one here on the shelf and see which one turns out better. Okay, so let's have a look at what's going on inside my grow tent here. I have a tomato plant that you had seen that I had tied up here. It was getting a little heavy. I'm going to be harvesting tomatoes today and the plant looks like it's pretty much done now. So I'm going to just take all the, the larger tomatoes. As you can see, I have a nice ripe one here. It's almost overripe, so I'm going to have to eat that up tonight. So I also have four different pepper plants growing here in my tent. So I've kind of been struggling with these peppers as well. They were really healthy. Um, I'm having trouble kind of keeping them from looking so droopy and losing their leaves, losing their flowers. The candy cane pepper though it does have a lot of fruit coming now. But as you can see, if I shake it, it's, it's losing a lot of its leaves and, and buds, and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. This is the jalapeno, and it just seems like it loses all the buds. The flowers don't turn into fruit. So not having very much luck with the jalapeno. This is the sweet Italian. I'm getting some peppers on it, as you can see. Got a nice little one coming there. There's a couple more at the back. So for some reason the sweet peppers are doing okay. My two hot peppers, my chili and jalapeno, not so good. So I'm not sure if it's just me and I don't know how to use a grow tent properly. Maybe my lights are too close, too far away. But I did have much better luck growing peppers in the crack key method just on a shelf under lights. So here's where I have much better success with my crack key method of growing vegetables. I have been doing a lot of lettuces, getting lots of great harvests off of them. I have one cucumber started here and another coming along right here. And here is a cucumber that's been growing pretty good for about three weeks now. So I'm going to leave this one on the shelf. I just need to make some room for it so it can spread out, give it something to climb on. So these are diva cucumbers, which are self-pollinating. They only produce female flowers. So pretty easy to grow indoors. And up here I have three tomatoes coming that are doing really well in the crack cake containers. They are a Scotia tomato. So I'm going to try putting a couple of these in the grow tent. Leave one outside on the shelf here and we'll see how they do. And we're gonna take this cucumber into the grow tent today too. As you can see, my Arrow Garden Tiny Tims are ripening up and doing good. I need to take another harvest today. These plants are pretty much at the end of their life. So these have been in the arrow garden now for 86 days so pretty much at the end here so i'm gonna harvest and figure out what else i can plant in here for the remainder of the winter season so i got two beautiful tomato plants here this is like i said the scotia tomato so i'm going to put two in the grow tent see how they do this one's got a very strong healthy stock on it. I think I need to do a little bit of pruning and maybe 
figure out some kind of trellising or support for this because it's starting to feel a little tippy already. This here is the Diva Cucumber that we're going to try in the grow tent. So you can see it's just barely getting past the two leaf stage so hopefully it will continue to take off here inside the grow tent. In the back there I have a cantaloupe melon that I'm starting for a second go round. The first one sprouted, got to about just past the two leaf stage and then it died. So again, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here in the grow tent. I've turned down the intensity of the light slightly and raised it up a little bit higher. I do have a fan running here that turns on automatically every day with the timer. So I will keep you updated on the progress of growing my veggies in the grow tent versus on the shelf under lights. We will hopefully see some cucumbers before the end of the winter season because that's one thing that I really was excited to try and grow indoors. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Please don't forget to like, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video coming to my channel. Thanks for watching.